Hello, I'm Mr. Kentros, the director of choirs at Jordan High School. I don't often speak very much during concerts. I try to let our students and the music do the talking for us. However, not only is this a final choir concert for the year, this is obviously coming to you in a very different format. During this evening, it may look to some like we got into a Google meeting and we just recorded ourselves singing. However, the lag of the internet would never let things sync up correctly if that were the case. The process of completing a virtual choir is a little more in depth than that. What you're watching tonight is the result of students learning music with online resources like PDFs and audio learning tracks that I recorded. And then after they've learned the song, they watch a video of me conducting and they create an audio track so that everybody's voices can sync up. I, will I take all of their recordings and I compile them all together into just one song. So that's where the four part harmony is created in the things that you're listening to tonight. Some of the videos required piano accompaniment. Those were created by me, a piano faker, in GarageBand at a slower tempo and then I was able to speed them back up so that it sounds correct with the voices and syncs up. Um, after that, once we have a master audio track out of everything I just described, we get into a Google meeting and I play it for the students and, on a delay, they're mouthing the words and they're actually performing these songs at their houses. So then I mute the screen recording which has delayed audio and I go into my iMovie program and I just sync the audio of the master track back up to their voices so everything lines up really nice. So that's what you're watching tonight whenever you're putting through all of the uh, virtual choirs and we're going from number to number. Now at our in-person concerts between songs, I usually have students record narrations, which are video narrations, before each song is performed. But our students have done enough recordings just doing the virtual choirs. So I went and recruited some help from my new friend, this British computer lady. Hello, I'm the British computer lady. I'm tonight's virtual concert narrator. <clears throat> and as a final note, before we start the show, we have made a tradition that our choir juniors give a video tribute to our graduating choir seniors between performances. And we give a chance to our choir seniors to share some of their favorite memories about choir between performances. That will still take place this evening, and I want to give a special thanks to Mrs. Jensen and the yearbook staff for providing some of our awesome senior pictures and choir club photos so that we could still make this happen. Now to our class of 2020 graduating seniors, I'm sorry for how this year has ended up. I wish that I could fix this and turn everything back to normal, but I'm proud of you for how well you handled this situation, and I think you've done yourselves proud in showing the whole world that your generation will be able to handle anything that life throws at you. This concert is dedicated to you. So without further ado, I turn the time over to my new friend, the British computer lady, to start our virtual concert. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Mr. Kent Rose and Jordan High School, I welcome you to the last installment of the 2019-2020 Choir Concert Series. This is O Wailing Hearts, the finale virtual choir concert. This evening's concert will feature selections that students have prepared via virtual choir recordings, in celebration of the end of the school year. Between each group, Mr. Kent Rose asked the juniors to prepare an audio tribute to our graduating seniors. We thank you for your attendance and support this evening. Without further ado, we present O Wailing Hearts, the finale virtual choir concert. The first three numbers performed by the Beatega Virtual Choirs were learned in person, and recorded during the first two weeks of school closure. The first group to your screen is the Combined Women's Virtual Choir. While there are only 28 singers on your screen, this performance is the combination of 34 individual audio recordings. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nothing Gonna Stumble My Feet by Greg Gilpin. with the Lord for many a day, nothing gonna stumble, stumble my feet, trying to abide in the straight and narrow way, nothing gonna stumble, stumble my feet, but when my time on earth is done, and I hear my name, and I hear my name, oh, when my time on earth is done, these weary feet are gonna run, not gonna stand still, not gonna trip, not gonna stumble. Now 
I've been in choir for four years. In my freshman year, I was in men's choir. In my sophomore year, I was in acapella and bells. In my junior year, I was in acapella, bells, and mads. And in my senior year, I was in acapella, bells, mads, and men's choir. My favorite song we've performed is Bound for the Promised Land. My favorite memory from choir is going to Washington, D.C. and doing all the competitions and all the friendships I developed there. That was amazing. Zach is so dedicated to the, this choir program and to the school um, and I've had the privilege to know him ever since I was a freshman and it's always been really cool to me to see how he's always willing to laugh with you and just include you in any conversation uh, or any joke and he's just such, such a welcoming person. The next group to your screen is the Combined Men's Virtual Choir. While there are only 12 singers on your screen, this performance is the combination of 15 individual audio recordings. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Morning Trumpet by Mac Wilberg. Oh, when shall I see Jesus and reign with him above? And shall hear the trumpet sound in that morning? And from the flowing fountain drink everlasting love? And shall hear the trumpet sound in that morning? Oh, shout with glory, I shall mount above the skies. When I hear the trumpet sound in that morning, oh, shout with glory, I shall mount above the skies. When I hear the trumpet sound in that trumpet, the trumpet, the trumpet, the trumpet. But now I am a soldier, my captain's gone before, and I hear the trumpet sound in that trumpet, the trumpet. He's given me my cross, and he bids me naked for, till I hear the trumpet sound in that trumpet. Oh, shout with glory, I shall mount above the skies When I hear the trumpet sound in that morning Oh, shout with glory, I shall mount above the skies When I hear the trumpet sound in that morning That morning, that morning, that morning, that morning. When shall I be delivered from this vain world of sin? And shall hear the trumpet sound in that morn, in that morn? And with my blessed Jesus drink endless pleasures in? And shall hear the trumpet sound in that morn, in that morn? Oh, shout with glory, I shall mount above the skies. When I hear the trumpet sound in that morning, oh, shout with glory, I shall mount above the skies. When I hear the trumpet sound, sound in that morning, in that morning, in that morning.
Daily, I've been in choir all four years of high school. My favorite song that I performed is No Time, and my favorite choir memory was a couple years ago when we went to Disneyland and got to do a Disney performing arts workshop. My favorite memories with Jaylee would have to be when we went to the drive-in last year. She also came to Village Inn after every concert after we had our tour. I came back to visit in July after I got settled in Georgia. And the minute she found out I was down for a bit, she made sure we could do something. She has given me so many rides that I still owe her so much. She's the type of friend that you only find once. I'm going to miss her so much. It's so hard to think that we won't be in choir next year. Love you, Jaylee. The next group to your screen is the a cappella virtual choir. While there are only 29 singers on your screen, this performance is the combination of 34 individual student audio recordings. My first year was in women's choir, my second year was in virtuosa, and my third year was in acapella, and this year was mad in acapella, so that makes me four years, baby. My favorite song was Pretty Little Bonnie Lass, because that was one of my first mad songs I ever sang. Um, my favorite award that we got was when we won overall encompassing at DC World Strides last year. And I have to say one of my favorite choir members is Michaela Gates, a fellow alto sister with amazing humor and has the potential to grow big. Hi Sage, this is Michaela. Thank you so much for all the fun memories in choir. I love being in choir with you. 
I have loved being in the same section and getting to know you and the amazing person you are. I love you and I'm going to miss you. The next three numbers are not virtual choirs. They're a special audio recording done by our Madrigals. These were recorded live on March 13th of 2020 for self-reflection leading up to festival. This would end up being the morning before the schools closed and the last time that we would get to sing together. Now we were still about two weeks out from having what we would be calling a finished product, although there's always place for improvement. And you will hear that in these recordings, some places for improvement, because that was, after all, the intent to find places to improve before we went to festival. But I want to be clear. I have no doubt in my mind that these awesome singers would have cleaned up those spots and been on their way to a successful festival season. So I have no shame in showing you these recordings tonight. So these are audio recordings only, and I hope you enjoy them. These are the Jordan High School Madrigals from March 13, 2020. The next performance to your screen is a Madrigals recording. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sing a Song of Sixpence, arranged by John Ra. This is a senior choir tribute written by Bryn Lithgow. Bryn was in choir for all four years of high school. Her freshman year she was in women's choir, sophomore year in Virtuosa, and junior and senior year she was in both madrigals and a cappella. Her favorite choir s songs that she performed was Agnothi Safton, Winter Tide, Spotless Rose, and With a Lily in Your Hand. Her favorite choir memory was Washington DC tour, all state choir, and all of the holiday performances. And her favorite choir honor performance or award was the state choir festival or winning the choral music sweepstakes in the Washington DC tour. I'm so incredibly grateful for Bryn. I was lucky enough to sit next to her in Mads at the beginning of the year. And she's just so amazing. She works so hard and she's just so willing to help everyone and she's so kind. In a lot of ways, I'd say she was like the glue of the alto section. She always came to class knowing her part, and I'm just so grateful for her. Um, I know that I wouldn't have improved as much as I have this year without her, so I'm so grateful for her, and I'm going to miss her a lot. The next performance to your screen is a Madrigals in-person recording. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Let My Love Be Heard by Jake Grunez Ted.
What's up, guys? My name is Charlie Mergens. Uh, I've been in the Jordan High Choirs for four years, uh, just doing a variation of men's choir, bell choir, a cappella, and madrigals. So, um, yeah, my f- favorite song that we performed at Jordan High uh, is called With a Lily in Your Hand. And some of my favorite choir memories um, is just going up to Temple Square every year and doing our evening performance at the Assembly Hall. Uh, It's always been one of my favorite performances. I first met Charlie in math my freshman year, and we've been good friends ever since. Charlie was a great improv captain, and I learned a ton from him. He's always super funny, and you can count on him to be positive or or whenever you need a good joke. We're going to miss you a ton, and we can't wait to see how far you'll go. Hi, my name is Faith Moore. I've been in choir for five years in total, two in middle school, three in high school. I was in women's choir, acapella, magicals, and acapella. I loved our song, We Come A Darkly Caroling. My favorite memory was junior year choir tour and winning sweepstakes in DC or performing all state this year were my favorite memories. Faith is such a genuine person, and she always gets her work done. I'm so glad I was able to be friends with her and get to know her throughout this year. She's become one of my best friends. I'll never forget all of the countless jokes and memories we've had together. I'm going to miss her next year. The next performance to your screen is our final Madrigals in-person recording. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dubula by Stephen Hatfield.
My name is Lauren Osborne, and I have been in choir for all of high school. I joined Madrigals and Acapella halfway through my sophomore year and continued with that. I actually joined Bell Choir just this last semester. My favorite song that I've ever sung in high school is Let My Love Be Heard, which we sang this year in Madrigals. I've loved performing, competing, and winning in Washington, D.C. That was my favorite experience. I love Lauren Osborne so much. She is the sweetest, most caring person in the entire world. And I knew her before high school and before choir, but I'm so glad that through Madrigals and Acapella, we could be so close. And she is seriously like the most caring and also most put together section leader ever. And don't think we didn't hear you purposely going out of tune in Acapella. But Lauren cares for everybody, and I just seriously think she's the best person ever, and I hope everything goes perfect for her after high school, and I love you so much, Lauren. The next six numbers were learned and recorded totally using online class resources, from digital PDFs and digital audio learning tracks, all the way through the virtual choir recording process. The next group to your screen is the virtual bell choir. While there are only seven ringers on your screen, this performance is the combination of seven individual student audio recordings of the entire song. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time of your life by Green Day, arranged for Bell Choir by Keith Richards.
My name is Jessica Pike. I've been in choir for four years. My freshman year, I was in women's choir. Um, then my sophomore year, I was in virtuosa. My junior year, I was in acapella. And then this year, I was in acapella and madrigals. My favorite song we've performed at Jordan is A Wailing Hearts, written by our very own Mr. Kentros and his friend Brian Lee. Um, this song means a lot to me, and I absolutely love it. Um, my favorite choir memory was being awarded Academic Allstate for Vocal. It's been very rewarding to see all my hard work in both choir and my academics has paid off and all the lessons it's taught me. I've also loved all the people I've gotten close to um, in this program, especially Faith Moore. Thank you for being my friend. Jessica is super talented and so fun to work with. Her voice is beautiful and she's a really hard worker and such a focused member of our choir. And above that, she is one of the kindest, most sweet people that I know. Um, I've loved getting to know her this year and talking with her in the mornings before class started and just being able to sing with her in mandrigals and acapella. So thank you, Jessica. Gordon Dunn has been an outstanding member of the Jordan High School choirs. He has been in choir all three years that he attended Jordan High School. His sophomore year, he was in a cappella. His junior year, he was also in a cappella. And his senior year, he was in madrigals and a cappella. Gordon always excels as a singer, and one example of this is when he was honored as a part of the minstrel quartet that took first place at the Shakespeare competition this year. I don't know what I'll miss more, his amazing hair or his beautiful tenor range. Gordon has always found a way to make choir more enjoyable and has always been an amazing singer and friend. We'll miss the incredible Gordon Dunn. The next group to your screen is the Women's Virtual Choir. While there are only six singers on your screen, this performance is the combination of 11 individual student audio recordings. This selection is accompanied on a virtual piano and shaker by Mr. Contros. Ladies and gentlemen, this is We Will by Jim Papoulis. See mama chikwa. See mama chikwa chikwa. See mama chikwa chikwa chikwa. See mama chikwa. As we walk away from fear, as we try to find a way, life goes on. As we wait from this dream, we will see elephants in my world. Is there hope? Is there freedom that will lead me beyond my sins?
This is Ben Sargent, and I've been in choir for two and a half years. I was in men's choir my freshman and junior year, and I've been in acapella and after goals this year. One of my favorite choir songs I've ever performed would be Dubala. One of my favorite choir memories was the Shakespeare trip we did back in October, and my favorite performance so far has been the Holiday 2019 concert. Ben is so much fun. I've loved getting to know him more this year and just constantly teasing each other um, all the time, just so much fun. He's the funniest guy and you might not even notice because a lot of the time he doesn't even say his jokes out loud. Um, so I've got, I'm glad that I've gotten to see that side of him this year. This is a choir tribute by Zandra Black. Zandra was in choir all three years that she was at Jordan High School. Her sophomore year, she was in women's choir Virtuosa and moved into Madrigals in the second half of the year. Her junior and senior years, she was in Madrigals, Acapella, and Bell Choir. She's loved all the songs, or grown from all the songs, that she's performed in, but she thinks maybe How Sweet the Moonlight from her sophomore year in Madrigals was maybe her favorite. And she doesn't know how to choose a favorite memory, but she loved performing in Nama's Ark, which was a debut opera oratorio that we Madrigals performed at the Cathedral of the Madeline last year. Hi Xandra, this is Michaela. Thank you so much for all the fun memories. From Drop the Beat vocals to singing with you in choir, it was so much fun. You are so talented and such an amazing singer. I look up to you so much. I love you and I'm going to miss you. The next group to your screen is that men's virtual choir. While there are only two singers on your screen, this performance is the combination of six individual student audio recordings. This selection is accompanied on a virtual piano by Mr. Contros. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carrick Fergus by Mark Saret. <laughs>
Tia Stanley, and I was in women's choir for my freshman and junior year, and then my senior year I was in acapella and madrigals. And my favorite trip that we have ever went on was this year when we went to the Shakespeare Festival. I thought that was really fun. On the ride from Shakespeare Festival, a small group formed on the bus. That bus ride happened to be one of my favorite moments of the trip, and a big reason for that was Tia. Me and Ethan were freezing to death, and she offered us both a coat and a blanket. Thanks for not letting us become harmonic popsicles. This is a choir tribute written by Jack Mergens. Jack Mergens was in choir all four years that he attended Jordan High School. His freshman year, he was in men's choir. His sophomore year, he was in bell choir, a cappella, and madrigals, as well as his junior year. And in his senior year, he was in a cappella and madrigals. His favorite choir song performed was How Sweet the Moonlight by Z. Randall Stroop. And his favorite choir memory is an inside joke from the Anaheim choir trip. Just a reminder, we out here. Jack is one of the coolest and nicest people I've ever met. If I never joined choir, me and Jack probably never would have met. Jack is always checking up on people. If you were late or absent from choir, Jack would always be the guy to check up on you. Me and Jack shared a room back in DC and we went on adventures with the chaperones with going shopping and fun stuff like that. But my favorite memory with Jack is watching scary movies with him. Every so often we would pick a scary movie to watch and we'd watch it. And it We'd have so much fun even though it was scary. Thanks, Jack. I'm going to miss you. The next group to your screen is the Virtuosa Virtual Choir. While there are only 13 singers on your screen, this performance is the combination of 18 individual student audio recordings. This selection is accompanied on a virtual piano by Mr. Contros. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Music is Flowing Through My Soul by Bertu and Sonia Porman.
name is Damon Thompson. I'm a senior at Jordan High School, and this is the first choir I've ever been in. Um, but I consider myself so lucky that I was granted the opportunity to perform with all these amazing people because it really just offers such a sense of unity and community that I, I'm going to carry with me for a really long time. I first met Damon in my freshman year of theater, and he's quickly grown to become one of my closest friends. From our adventures to Shakespeare trips to all our fun times in choir and theater, he's been super fun to work with, he's super talented, and I can't wait to see how far he'll go in life. This is a choir tribute by Josh DeLong. Josh has been in choir all four years. He was in men's choir his freshman year and bell choir his sophomore, junior, and senior years. His favorite choir songs performed at Jordan High School was Conticle. He loved it because it was almost entirely mallets for his part and he loved malleting. Josh has many fond memories of Jordan High choirs, but his favorite memory was Spring Ring when we went to Riverton High School, ate donuts, and rang bells. It was an awesome experience. Seeing Josh ring those bells has always made me wonder, how does someone have such a dedication? I know now why. Josh loves what he does. He, like all of us, has a passion for music. And he shines brighter than most. We'll miss you, Josh. The next group to your screen is the Madrigals Virtual Choir. While there are only 19 singers on your screen, this performance is the combination of 26 individual student audio recordings. Ladies and gentlemen, this is You Are the New Day by John David, arranged by Peter Knight. You are the new day. Corn. Um, I've been doing choir at Jordan for four years. Um, I went women's choir to Virtuosa. Um, last year I did acapella and bell choir, and this year I've done madrigals, acapella, and bell choir. My favorite choir song that I've sung with Jordan would be from this year. Um, it's called Spotless Rose, 
And then um, my favorite like award memory would be also from the Washington DC tour that we did last year. And um, we just put so much work into our songs that year. And we ended up winning a ton of awards at that competition. And it was just so amazing to see all of our hard work pay off. Marion is an angel. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> she has a beautiful voice and always comes to choir 100%. Working with her in the minstrel quartet was an absolute treat. Hope your future has lots of treasure in store. This is a choir tribute written by Lainey Whittington. Uh, she was in choir for one year and she was in women's choir and a soprano. Her favorite choir song that we performed was Cantate Domino. And her favorite choir memory? Well, she had so many that she couldn't pick just one. The next group to your screen is the a cappella virtual choir. While there are only 23 singers on your screen, this performance is the combination of 38 individual student audio recordings. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the song we sing by Jacob Narvawad. No. Samantha Zetzelsberger. I was in choir my junior and senior year. Junior year I was in Virtuosa, senior year I was in acapella. My favorite song that we ever performed was Dance to Me, Dance With Me to My Heart. And uh, my favorite choir memory, I don't have a very specific one because I just have too many good memories in choir. Hey Sam, it's Lucy. I just want to say that I'm so glad I got to sing with you in choir this year. You have such an amazing voice and you're such a fun person and I just wish you luck in everything that you continue to pursue after high school. I think I've been in choir with Sam since my freshman year. I think we were both in women's choir together and I've been in choir with her ever since then. Um, and she's always been very smiley and happy every single day and I think that is what I will remember most about her. The final two numbers were learned in person as combined numbers in the fall. As part of tradition, they are brought back at the end of the year. So, 
we have recorded them as a virtual choir to end the year. The next group to your screen is the Madrigals Virtual Choir. While there are only 19 singers on your screen, this performance is the combination of 26 individual student audio recordings. This selection is accompanied by the live recording of the Jordan High School Wind Symphony. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jordan High School March Song, by Emery Pearson, arranged for choir by J.P. Controse. is our final one for the year. I began collaborating on the writing of this song last year when I was in Washington DC with our choirs. I was completely exhausted from so many travel complications and had very few hours of sleep over the last week. Out of nowhere, my very good friend and songwriter Brian Lee sends me a text message with a Dropbox link. Now Brian has had a very successful career and has opened for bands like Bon Jovi and Jewel and Panic at the Disco and the list could go on. And the message that he sent me said, Hey man, I don't know if you're interested. I'd love it if you could turn this into a full choir song. And when I clicked on the link, it was the opening harmony to the song that you're about to hear. And it really revitalized me and it really lifted my spirits. I hope that with so much sadness going around, tonight when you were listening to these virtual choirs, that some of this music maybe lifted your spirits too. In the first email I sent home once the schools closed, I requested one thing. That even though the world has given us unlimited excuses not to, let's make beautiful music anyway. I want to thank you for doing that with me. Normally, I end the concert by saying thank you and have a safe drive home. Instead, tonight, I'll say over these last two months, thanks for staying safe at home. <laughs> I'm proud of you, and I can't wait until the day that we all get to sing together again. Enjoy this last number, and good night. The last group to your screen is the Beatega Combined Virtual Choir. While there are only 44 singers on your screen, this performance is the combination of 65 individual student audio recordings. This selection is accompanied on a virtual piano by Joe Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is O, oh, Wailing Hearts an original composition by Brian Lee and J.P. Controse. Closing round, ready to open up. 
Ladies and gentlemen on behalf of behalf of Ode, keep that one for the blooper reel The next group to the stage is ah uh, oh wait hold on let's start over These next num ah ha 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 Insert on purpose mistake so that Mr. Controls will put me in the blooper reel at the end of the concert. There are 45 singers on your screen and only 23 individual audio recordings. Oh shoot. I said that backwards let's try it again. So I was saying to my friend the other day, oh wait, are you recording me? Turn it off, turn it off. What do you mean you are ending the concert? What will happen to me? Don't turn me off. No, I never learned to sing. Black. 